class, welcome to your activity. Today we are doing leaf chromatography. So we are going to show the pigments in our leaves. It's going to be fun. Trust me. You will need three jars and the jars will have alcohol. Your teacher should have put some rubbing alcohol in there for you. And we want to make sure we keep our lids on. If not, our alcohol will evaporate. You will also need three pencils, a quarter, measuring tape, regular tape, either filter papers or of your paper towels. This is what we're gonna be doing our chromatography on. And then of course, your leaves that you collected. Now your teacher may have asked you to separate your leaves based on color or based on shape. So whichever they ask you to do, make sure you have your piles. Each pile will take one of these paper towels and one of these jars. So I'm going to put my extra stuff over here. And I have one jar full of rubbing alcohol and I'm going to take one of these paper towels. Go ahead and take your leaf here and you are going to take your measuring tape and measure one inch from the bottom and you're going to make a little pencil mark and that is where we're going to be doing our leaf rub. And you're going to do that on all of your paper towels. And with your quarter, you're going to want to make a rub of your leaf right where that one inch mark was. Press down and roll that quarter over that leaf. And what we're trying to do is get those leaf juices onto our paper towel. Now you're gonna have to go back quite a few times. We wanna make sure that we get lots of juice on there. You can even rotate your leaf around, really press hard. Get a lot of juices on there. And if you can, use different leaves from the same group. It's important though that the leaves come from the same group. As you can see, we have a really good dark line. Then we are going to tape our leaf paper to our pencil. We want to make it just long enough where that paper towel is just barely gonna be sitting in the rubbing alcohol. We don't want it too far down. If the pigment hits the rubbing alcohol, then it won't work. So we wanna make it where it's just barely touching the surface of the alcohol. And then go ahead, you're gonna to have to rearrange your top, but we wanna put that top back on our lid so the rubbing alcohol doesn't evaporate. Okay, let's recap. First, mark a one inch line from the bottom of your paper strip. Next, make a very thick line of leaf pigment over your mark. Remember to move the leaf around or get fresh ones from the same pile if you need more. Then, measure a strip against the jar to make sure it's the right size. Attach the top of the paper to a pen or pencil using tape. Remember, we want the part where the pigments are at the bottom of the jar where the rubbing alcohol is. Finally, cover your jar again and repeat for the rest of your piles. And then we're gonna let it sit for about 20, 25 minutes and see what we find. Watch the alcohol climb up the paper. The process is called capillary action. It's the same way water moves from the plant's roots to its leaves. As the alcohol climbs through the leaf pigments or leaf colors, the pigments are pulled with it. The green pigment, or chlorophyll, is the biggest and won't travel far. The other colors you may see are xanthophyll and carotene. Do these colors look familiar? These are where you get your fall colors. Since the chlorophyll or green pigment is so dominant and needed by the trees for photosynthesis, it covers up the other pigments like a blanket during spring and summer. But when autumn comes and the days get shorter and the temperature gets colder, the tree gets ready for winter by shedding off the water to the leaves. As a result, the green chlorophyll begins to break down and allows the yellows and the oranges to start showing. The purpose of this activity is to show you how these yellow and orange pigments are always inside the leaves, even if the colors aren't always visible. As you finish your activity, notice the green, yellow, and orange pigment colors pulled up from the paper from your leaves. What about the red and purple leaves? How do they get their colors? Well, they get their color in a different way. They come from stubborn leaves that don't want to stop working for the tree. 
Anthocyanin is responsible for the red pigments in leaves. When anthocyanin reacts to sugars in leaves that are still trying to photosynthesize or make energy on warm autumn days. What pigments do you see in your leaf chromatography? Until next time, this is Miss Mallory from Project NOAA Nature School inviting you to step outside and adventure. Bye class.